it wasn't a surprise. Like he's, he's obviously capable of like flashing those sort of things. I tried Kingdom on the first day we arrived here, and then just as we were tired and finished off, the face came into the shade and conditions got good. But we were obviously a bit tired. I had a couple of goes on a crimpy project and split almost instantly. Oh man. Tried it from a couple of moves in and like flashed it from there. Then got really giddy at the thought of doing it and <laughs> it was, it was like sweating and like overthinking things. Oh. Come on. Oh. Get in. on the beach. Decent, so. Oh yeah. Feel it. Into this. Oh. <laughs> Pretty safe. Pretty safe, but also just take that out of, take the thought of it out of your head, I reckon. Well, we'll get the pants, probably double stack pants. Yeah, and then I reckon whack, big radius of double stack pants and it'll feel fine. More generally, I've always been inspired by like more shorter boulders where like I'm like knocking on the door of my like physical limit on every move. And that's something I've always generally just found very satisfying. But there's a lot of satisfaction about like understanding longer, more complex sequences and like kind of feels like streamlining those methods and perfecting those. And it kind of feels like more of like a puzzle to remember a lot of it, like a long complex sequences. 
so I've been quite enjoying like spending some time figuring out those um, I've had some sessions on much longer boulders where the moves are less intense and it's less frustrating I often find like if uh, I'm like right at my limit and I'm feeling quite good but I'm limited by something completely out of my control like well I mean I could, probably could have been more careful with my skin but like having a tape tip feels like once you have it it's somewhat out of your control and it feels crazy to be like get frustrated by something like that so um, when I've got everything to go at it feels sensible to do the things which aren't gonna it's not gonna limit to me so much on at the moment and then um, yeah I've got plenty of those so when good skin comes I can uh, crack on back into my niche of hard moves Good, come on. Come on. Yes. Come on. Yeah. Good. Yeah. I was feeling good then. Yeah, you look good. Right a bit, right a bit. That's it. Come on, Aiden. Nice. Choo choo. Nice. Good job. Woo. Good. Nice one. Such a nice move. Yeah. What a great rock. Cool. Money. Come on. Have you done that in the sequence? Everyone kept telling me to rest. <laughs> I'm definitely not as um, not as controlled as. <laughs> oh. I'm definitely a little less reserved than Aiden. I think when I'm training, I, I do so much volume of climbing. I think I can kind of get away with having quite a lot of tries, and maybe it doesn't um, mean I do things quickly in terms of attempts, but maybe I'll have five goes in a very short space of time, figure everything out and then do the climb quite quick, which means I can just sort of like get through more in a day. Ah. Sweet. 
Ah, oh, chuff with that. For harder things, it's definitely not as effective. Like, I'll um, get tired pretty quick if I'm just burning through, burning through attempts on like problems that are pretty close to my limit. But um, I think I've been better at that this trip. I feel like on when I have been on harder things, I've tried to be a bit more reserved and sort of like time my rest a little bit and force myself to like sit down for a while. Right, come on arms, do your thing. Come on, Jim. Come on, Jim. Come on, Jim. Come on, trust it. Come on, Jim. Come on. Did you, I see. did you notice that? I see the heel slip. Slip, yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> That's a pumpy one. I like how you went full improv in that middle <laughs> section. I was well. too pumped. But I knew that Gaston was good, so I was just like... <laughs> <laughs> fall into it. I think I've always been a bit like... I don't know the best way of putting it. It's not like a fear of failure, but I wouldn't want to... I guess it is a fear of failure. Like, I wouldn't want to get really invested in trying something spend loads of days of effort into it and then like just head home with like nothing so I think this trip I've had quite a nice balance of so on my first day climbing I've been trying some some harder things and then second day I'll go for like mileage and then rest and sort of like repeat that little cycle kind of have the mindset of once I've got all the easy things out of the way I'll be forced to project stuff and I'll just start projecting them then Thank you.
happy. I don't think so. No. <laughs> Good freestyle at the end. Some amazing holes on that. Done for the day, do you think, or can you try something else? I'd like to do some climbing. Yeah. Um, yeah. After what? You'd like to climb, try anything. Yeah, I'll keep going. Scroll.
I guess it kind of is a sit start to Kingdom or you sit start just below Kingdom but it actually feels a pretty much uh, independent line. You don't share any of the same moves until you've done all of the hard climbing really. Yeah, I think that thing's hard. Uh, it's like a really intense drop knee. Some really small holds. How good is that left hand? Not good. Oh, it's actually pretty bomber. Pretty bomber. Yeah, yeah, the thumb's like a jug. Yeah. It make, kind of makes the hold. It's dreadful. <laughs> no, the thumb's good. Yeah, the thumb's good, but... Totally like that. <laughs> Don't break it off. <laughs> yeah, I tried that after I did Kingdom, um, which I'm actually really keen on. I kind of, upon initially trying it, felt like it was like a bit beyond me, but then managed to figure out the moves quite quickly and had a good go from the start, but I think was a bit tired from Kingdom just before uh, and a bit conservative on the skin. So maybe once my splits healed, I'll uh, feel a bit better on those holds as well. And then. Um, and um, that's probably the thing I'm most keen for. I think it's a good bit harder than Kingdom, which would like, I think Kingdom's relatively well established in a grey area between AB plus and 8C, so it would make sense that this SIT project would probably be probably relatively established in the grey area between 8C and 8C plus. Yeah. Come on. Oh, come on, man. Yes, come on, man. Get it, dude. Yes. Very good. 